So action speaks louder than words. So we are a platform where we share climate solutions. So scalable, viable, optimist solution that can do an impact right here, right now. So we have another wonderful guest uh, with us here at Change Now in Paris. Um, if you could say who you are and who you're representing. Yeah. I'm Anya Nelson. I'm the head of business development focused on downstream markets at Dioxycle. Okay. So what's this, um, I don't know, it looks like, I don't know, it's something I should be excited about if I was a four-year-old, like a new toy, but what is it? Well, you should be excited about it if you were a four-year-old, but hopefully also now as an adult. Um, it, this is not uh, to scale, it's to scale, but a much smaller. Currently, this is actually the size of a car in our lab uh, here just outside of Paris. And this is our electrolyzer. So this is the actual uh, technology that takes the carbon emissions and some water and uses the renewable electricity and then produces the chemicals and also releases oxygen. So this is the, the core innovation and it's called an electrolyzer because okay. it uses electricity. Uh, um, yeah. And it's really the first time we're using damaging emissions and turning it into something we can actually use. And what is the, the vision? What is the mission? What is the climate solution that you're, you're working on? Yeah, so Dioxycle has been around for four years and we're focused on taking just carbon emissions, water and renewable electricity and creating chemicals that are in everyday products. And so for people who are not chemists, as chemistry is not always so intuitive for everybody, an example of a chemical would be ethylene. And ethylene is in the laundry detergent you use. It's about it's responsible for about 30 to 50 percent of the carbon emissions of your uh, laundry detergent. It's in all of the plastic packaging. It's in cars. It's in um, uh, telecom labels. It's really in the furniture you use. So it's in everyday products. And what we've done is really do that at an unprecedented cost and energy efficiency, um, because compared to how it's done today. It's done in these massive steam crackers. You might have seen, they look like these chimneys, mm -hmm. and those are highly emitting and high temperature, and they use fossil fuel. And so we've turned that on its head. And so instead of taking fossil fuel and emitting carbon emissions, we're taking those carbon emissions and building up these carbon molecules. Okay. So that's what we do. How interesting. And, and uh, why did you join uh, uh, Action Speed as a member? Uh, and, and why? Did you want to submit your climate initiative to this? Yeah, this wonderful initiative. So we joined Action Speaks because action is really important for what we're doing. Ethylene, the molecule that I was just describing, it represents about one to two percent of global emissions. And so the, chemi the chemical industry is massive and it takes a lot of change in the value chain to introduce a new concept like ours. Mm -hmm. To date, people are very used to ideas like recycled end, end materials, so recycling your jacket. We've gotten used to that idea. We've even gotten used to bio-based materials. But this idea of actually being able to recycle everything, including the carbon emissions that are coming out in the air into products we use, is a new one. And so in order to really be effective, it's great to be part of a bigger network like Action Speaks that gets the word out, that connects us to other people in the network. And just at this event, I mean, two people, two, two big companies that use our chemicals are IKEA, uh, for example. So it's also great to just be connected uh, with a group there. Okay, cool. Um, what's been your experience of change now? Uh, has it been good, bad, indifferent, uh, something in the middle? Uh, you know, what do you think about this event? Yeah, it's our first year here, so we really didn't know what to expect. And I have to say, it's been, it's been really energizing in the sense that some things that I've really enjoyed are these learning expeditions mm -hmm. that are organized where companies go to the various solutions that are coming here and they can really ask questions. So we've had some of those learning expeditions and actually uh, customers came to me that I had never considered uh, and told me, hey, we actually use these chemicals and I had no idea. So it's been uh -huh. a really fun exploratory. Um, that's been really interesting for me yeah. to learn about new applications. So some sort of matchmaking in a yeah. sense going on. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been asked to ask you what are some of the actions you take every day in your life to be sustainable? Yeah, I'm a human being, so there are actions I take. I've spotted that. <laughs> 
So there are actions I take that I that are sustainable, and there are many areas of my life that I could improve. Um, I think the biggest action I've probably taken is to work for Dioxycle, to really use the time of day, the hours of my life, the work experience I've received before, the networks I have, and try to really tackle these one to two percent of global emissions. Yeah. Other than that, I try I eat vegetarian. Um, but I mean, yeah, I think the biggest thing is just what I choose to work on. Good. Thanks very much for being with Woody. I have time. Thank you so much.